morning and welcome back. Uh, my name's Amy and I make videos mostly about our allotment and growing things and food and blah 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 um, and sometimes the odd day out. Um, it's quite early on a Sunday morning which is why you can tell because I talk a little bit quieter because I feel like you know your voice carries when it's this early and I don't want to disturb the people in the houses. Um, I have just got down to the plot. Oh, I've got lots of tomatoes, lots of tomatoes to pick. Um, and on our other plot, I just found some big piles of feathers. And I thought, mm, they don't, one pile of white, one pile of black. And I thought, I'm not sure that what bird that is. And then I thought, I hope it's not one of the chickens from the plot next door. So I looked through the fence, it's quite overgrown. And unfortunately, I think a fox has got in um, and killed all the chickens. Um, which is one of the reasons why we don't have chickens, because I would hate to come down and find that, you know, a fox has got in and got them. Um, I'm not really sure what to do. There's nobody else here. I don't have any contact details for her. Uh, I did try and look in to see if I could... Um, see if there were any still alive to try and you know get them out or whatever but I could only see two that weren't moving um so I don't know there used to be quite a few in there so I'm not quite sure where all the others are whether the fox has taken them all or if they have escaped and they've run off somewhere I don't know I did try looking around um and tried sort of calling them but I don't know even if they're there whether they'll come out because they're obviously probably petrified so um, what I would do though is I will email uh, the council, but obviously they're not going to be there today. Uh, and I would have thought that the people would come down to see the chickens today anyway. So, um, I, my mum said apparently a couple of the other plot holders do have her details, but as I say, nobody's here, unfortunately. But maybe they'll come a little bit later. Right, so sorry, it's not a very nice uh, way to start off. Um, the video is it um, yeah I am going to be doing quite a bit of harvesting today the tomatoes have gone mad again because I haven't taken off any more of the suckers I have just turned the hose off to give it them a water in here obviously we have had a little bit of rain um, but obviously it doesn't come inside so I need to um, do that um, but uh, it's a bit, I don't know if you can see all these tomatoes um, and I have got loads of plums. I um, When I came down to water the other day, I, all of a sudden the plums were just all purple. Like they were green. And then about a few days later, they're all purple. So I was like, oh. I gave them a try um, and it was really nice. So I was like, right, plums are ready. So um, yeah, I'm gonna pick some of them. I'm gonna try and make some chutney. I say this every year and every year I don't. And also some um, plum crumble as well. Or like these little, like oat bars I'm going to make as well which I've done with blueberries before so I'm just going to try and do the same recipe but with plums give it a go um, and then some other bits and pieces that need doing and then I need your opinion on something it's down on the other plot um, but yeah if you could stick around and help me with something because I'm not sure what it is exactly um, but yeah, so I'm just going to start getting rid of some of these suckers and watering in here. Um, I'm not going to pick the tomatoes until I'm about to go because I like to pick them and get them home. Mind you, it doesn't matter for tomatoes because I don't put them in the fridge anyway. Uh, oh, okay. Well, I will pick some tomatoes as well. plums on this tree are just starting to turn but these ones I think are different well I think these ones these ones Victoria plums these ones don't go like a deep purple um, whereas the ones on the other plot which I'll show you in a minute do 
So I can't remember if these ones are the Victoria Plum ones, but they feel soft enough. Not soft, but they don't feel rock hard. So I'm going to try and pick some of these because this we didn't do very well with this tree last year. But this year, there are lots, lots not ripe yet. Obviously, these ones are nowhere near. I say nowhere near. They are near. And then I need to pull off some of these rotten ones. But yeah, it seems to be a good, a good year for fruit. And then I've got some dead branches that need to come off. And then these are the green gauges, which I did try one the other day. See, they feel better. But they weren't quite ready, but I'd say they probably are now. So I need to pick them as well before it's right at the front of the plot. Uh, people um, they fall into people's hands shall we say so um, yeah and also I've got over here uh, not deliberately grown <laughs> just left some blackberries and I don't know about where you are but we have so many blackberries at the moment I went for a walk the other day and they were like this big and they were so so sweet I don't remember blackberries being that sweet when I picked them before but yeah they're really nice so and it, it just seems very early I'm sure it's uh, normally sort of September time but yeah there's a few here and there's a plot down there that's very very overgrown that's been left and there's some blackberries there as well which I'm not sure if I should take or not but no one's working it but I feel bad because um yeah, I wouldn't want people coming on my plot and taking my stuff. <laughs> so, uh, and then I think there might be some more blackberries down here that, that were in amongst the raspberries. So, um, yeah. And the apples, because this is what I thought. I thought blackberries, something moved there. Go away. Um, I thought blackberries and apples are normally ready at the same time. I haven't turned that off, I thought I did. Um, so you can have apple and blackberry crumble. <laughs> but this is the plot next door. Look at all their apples. I don't know if you see so many apples. We've got some apples, but obviously they're not ready yet. Also got some tomatoes in the greenhouse. I'm desperate for these ones to turn. Look how tiny they are. They're called red currant tomatoes. Some of them have fallen off, but I want to try them. So I'm looking forward to them, um, but yeah, got some nice, I think they must be sun gold because they're the orangey ones. And I spotted a cucumber down there and another one over there. And so I'm going to give this a water as well. I've got a little couple of flowers on the chilli plant. So I need to plant these out. This is kale. This is Cavalier Neuro Kale and this is Scarlet Kale. So not a lot of it grew, but that'd be enough. And then I've got some kohlrabi down here. So I'll probably put them all in the same bed. <clears throat> and then I've got some runner beans to plant out because the ones we started before didn't do very well. So I've just started a few more. So they are looking good, need to go out. So on this plot, we've got two trees. We've got this one, so these really dark purple plums and then this other one again which I think is the Victoria plum one which is the same that's on the other plot so yeah they're all ready to go them ones and um, there's quite a few on here not as many as on the other tree but these are slightly smaller trees these ones this was my sweet pea wall that I've just left um, to go to seed so it goes like this and then once they're dry you can open them up and then the seeds are in there and then that'll be my seeds for next year um quite a few by the looks of that um so this is what i need your help with this plant here self-seeded itself we didn't plant it this bed last year had brassicas in it the year before that i don't think this bed was Oh, it, there was a bed here, but it was a slightly, we changed it all. And it did have squashes and courgettes in it. That was two years ago. <laughs> but, so it's come from somewhere. 
it's got some something growing on it i thought it was a courgette at first because it is staying as a bush um it isn't trailing out like squashes normally do but then when i came down it's got this great big thing on it which is huge so then i thought well is it actually a squash and i need to leave it or is it a very overgrown courgette and i need to eat it um because now i'm not so sure <laughs> help these are the leaves if that is any help I, it doesn't make it any easier for me because I think courgette and squash leaves. Mind you, that is a courgette. Oh, well, that's one leaf. These are squash leaves. So maybe it is a courgette then because they are slightly different. Oh, I don't know now. So I'm just going to pick some of these purple plums. Some of them are still a little bit hard, but I think if I'm putting them in chutney, then they should be all right. And then there's some like that that just keep falling off on their own. <laughs> soft yeah perfect then don't drop them don't waste them i was just saying i was looking forward to i'm waiting for these little ones to ripen i can't wait to try them but are they a different one yeah look how small they are these are the ones i love the sun gold yeah they're tiny yeah don't want the flowers i know i just realized i did that So mum's just planted out the kale up there, the cabernet and the scarlet kale and then put the kohlrabi in here, just giving it a good water because um, we've had a little bit of rain but um, the ground's very, very dry um, so, and then we're going to net it to stop the pigeons from hopefully eating them. So I've just sown some beans, so there's um, some Bellotti beans and some, I think they're Blue Lake beans, uh, both climbing. Um, it says on the packet um, that you can sow them outdoors until the end of July. So we are at the beginning of August, but do you know what? I'm just going to stick them out and give them a go. Um, if they grow, then I've got going to grow them where they take the sweet peas out and put them in there to grow up the archway. Um, but yeah, a lot of the beans just don't seem to be taking, the climbing beans I've grown, I've only had about a handful of them. They just don't grow or something eats them. So I'm hoping these will be all right in here now. Um, and then once they've grown in a couple of weeks, then I can stick them out and hopefully we'll just get some like late beans. Right, so this is that same plant that sort of self-seeded itself. It does look like it is fine in a little bit. So now I'm not sure if it is a cool shit. <laughs> or a squash so it's got these two growing on here but i have picked it now so Amy. i don't know so these are the plums that we've picked so far so these ones are the, like the softest ones that we could find some of them are still a bit that's a nice soft one some of them are a little bit firm still um so we've left them ones but this should be you know this is plenty and then when the next ones become ripe so otherwise what we'll do is we'll end up leaving them these will all fall off and go rotten and then we'll see up so many we have eaten a couple and someone else has eaten a couple and they said they're nice so that's good just pick some pak choy baby pak choy leaves there i have picked some more as well but they're in the basket with the tomatoes which i will go and get in a minute um because it's on the other plot and show you the tomatoes that i picked too we're going to um tip out one of our red duke of york potatoes and see I don't expect them to be too big, if no. I'm honest, but there's not much. We'll see if there's any in there at all. Oh, I can see one. That's all right. God, look at the size of that worm. Blimey. <laughs> Full of worms. That's good. And potatoes. Yeah, I think I'll put the gloves on. Yeah, I would. <laughs> That's good, though. But there's worms in there for the soil. But, yeah, there's a... Oh. A slug on it, nice, nice red, red Duke of York there. Oh, huge worms. Just gonna say, 
Um, right, so these are the tomatoes. Let's see, um, lots of different ones in there from some beef steak to some tigerella to sun gold, um, two little cucumbers, and then some more pak choy there, ready for my stir fry later. So I've just been editing this video and realised that um, it finished rather suddenly with some tomatoes um, and I didn't actually say anything else after that. Uh, just an update with the chickens. Somebody did come down the plot later on who had the contact details for the lady. Um, so she messaged her um, and let her know so that she knows in advance before she comes down because I didn't want the kids coming down. Uh, we did. I went in there with another plot holder just to see if there was any um live ones but we couldn't see any couldn't see how the fox got in or out but they are very clever um so that is the end of the video uh, i hope you enjoyed it and i'll see you all in the next one